Today, we're going to be observing chloroplasts and cytoplasmic streaming. The materials and equipment we are using today is a microscope, a concave slide, a cover slip, an eyedropper, an anacarus leaf, and a drawing pencil. We're going to be making a wet mount of the anacarus leaf. We would like a young leaf, so near the tip of the plant is perfect, but we want to be careful not to crush it, so we need to carefully cut it into a small piece. Then, we're going to be putting a few drops on the leaf, not a lot, just a little, and place a cover slip over it. Once we have finished that step, you're going to be putting it under the microscope. This is a picture of the leaf under medium power. You can see the green oval cells and the stem and veins and all of that stuff. Here's more of a picture of the outer edge of the leaf. Also under medium power. And here's a picture of the leaf on high power. It's much more bigger, so you can actually see the cells, which is pretty cool. The chloroplast's size, appearance, and placement in the cell. Chloroplasts are tiny green-like circles found all over the plant. The speed, direction, and movement of the cytoplasmic streaming. The cytoplasmic streaming is a fast-moving streaming and also moves in circles. Why is cytoplasmic streaming important? It is important because it moves the chloroplast around in the cell, giving it lots of sunlight and nutrients. And this is lab number eight, observing chloroplasts and cytoplasmic streaming.